It's Reg Kelly, Table in the Wilderness. Good to be back with you. I got sent off into Siberia by uh, Facebook. They're the, the good commies over at Facebook sent me off to Siberia. Well, I got news for them. Uh, they can't shut me up. And if they want to take me off, they threaten to take me off permanently. That's fine. You just go ahead and help yourself, Facebook. But at least uh, you ought to just admit who you are. You're a bunch of Nazis. You're a bunch of communists. You don't believe in the Constitution. You don't believe in personal freedom. But anyway, having said that, this is uh, Thursday after the election, and the election is undecided. I just want to encourage all of you out there who voted for uh, the Constitution, who voted for freedom, who voted for liberty by voting for Donald Trump, let's not give up the fight. Moses was at the uh, Red Sea. Pharaoh's army was behind him. Uh, the Red Sea was in front of him, and there were impassable mountain cliffs on each side of him. And God said, be still, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I'm thinking when Hezekiah was surrounded, Jerusalem was surrounded by the Assyrians. And they mocked them and made fun and said, send out soldiers if you can win. And Hezekiah took it and spread it before the Lord. And uh, God sent an angel in. Over and over again, the Bible, God delivers when people think there's no way. God always writes the last chapters. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I have confidence that it's going to turn out good. I know that our trust is in the Lord Jesus Christ, but I think we ought to fight. And for those of you super spirituals out there who don't like Donald Trump and there's issues about him that you don't agree with, well, you know what? You And you didn't vote. Yeah, you did vote. You voted for Joe Biden. You voted for the murder of babies. So don't give me your super spiritual stuff about how you can't take uh, Donald Trump because uh, he doesn't have the stand on queers that you'd like to have. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with him on everything either, but I can tell you this, Mike, he's a million miles ahead of Joe Biden. And so anyway, uh, you super spirituals, you just keep on helping the liberals, but the rest of us are going to fight, and we're going to win, and we're going uh, to stand, and having done all, we're going to stand, and we're going we're to stand for Christ in the midst of it. But uh, we live in a cursed world, a sin-cursed world. Everything's not going to be just like you and I want it. But we do look forward to the day when Jesus Christ is ruling and reigning on this earth. And he'll rule in righteousness with a rod of iron. And there won't be any elections. And there won't be any uh, uh, putting up with garbage. The Lord will take care of things. Anyway, uh, I just want to encourage you in the Lord to stand, to fight, and to believe and trust God with this thing, all right? And don't be discouraged. Whatever you do, don't be discouraged. Listen, God's still in control. I'm telling you something. He even uses the wicked for his purposes. And so trust in the Lord. All right. This is Reg Kelly. Good to see you all again. And I hope that you'll have a great day and pray and seek the Lord and walk with God. And uh, let's see God win this thing for us. All right. Until next time. So long. Take care of yourself.